Languages tend to have words that are sound-alikes, like rain and rain. In some, like the Japanese language, these sound-alikes are fairly common. But a native speaker may be able to distinguish between these words by their so-called pitch accent, like in the classic example, hashi and hashi. In written form, however, the pitch is not indicated. Instead, the way you can tell words apart, besides from context of course, is through the kanji used to write them, like ha, leaf, and ha, tooth. These two even resemble what they mean to some extent. It's cool when they do that, it makes it easier to learn. Words Bubble Up Like Soda Pop is a pretty bog-standard romance story. A boy and a girl bump into each other one day to a set of wacky circumstances. After some more shenanigans, they hit it off, both clearly having feelings for each other, but certain complicating factors make it dubious whether they should get together, leading up to an eventual climactic confession of love in the face of all else. You know how it goes. It's a tale as old as time. But... The boy is named Cherry. Well, it's a nickname, but everybody calls him that. He enjoys writing haiku. You don't need to know exactly what haiku is, just that it's a Japanese form of poetry and that it helps him express himself. Whenever he comes up with a new one, he posts it on this Twitter-equivalent social media site. The girl is called Smile. She's a lively, cheerful kid who does IRL streams on not Twitch to a pretty decently sized audience, but she's quite insecure about her big buck teeth, as well as her braces, so she always wears a surgical mask when she goes outside. What? Yeah, did this movie come out again? Maybe it's presented as a bit more conspicuous than it should be. After the two meet and get a little closer, Smile begins following Cherry's haiku account and gently tapping that like button under every single one of his posts. They both also end up helping an elderly man they know find an old rare record entitled the Yamazakura, after he tells them that it's important to him and he would very much like to listen to it once again. One night, Cherry comes across a haiku book in his room, and in it, it's a meaning that can be derived from the word Yamazakura. ザクロ。花より先に葉が出ることから鉄砲の人を刺して山桜と呼ぶ。あ。チェリー君の俳句。新しいの。山桜隠したその葉、僕は好き。